And there you go. Welcome back. Thank you so much. I'm the Dr. Bob Lee for 107.5 WBLS. And our last guest are the marketing manager and ophthalmologist for New Jersey Eye and Ear. And they are with us today to speak about the importance of eye health and receiving yearly examinations. I also highlight a, a wonderful opportunity that they're offering to kids this holiday season. So please welcome to the show, Jackie Gibbs Berry and Dr. Nandy Bush. Welcome, guys. All right. Hi, Dr. Bob. Here. All right. Listen, so great to be here. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've known um, Jackie for so long now. And uh, Nandy, I, it's a pleasure to meet you. I should I call you Dr. Thank Nandy? You. Or? Thank you. Dr. Nandy, Nandy. Dr. Both Nandy. Good. All right. Um, of course, we're going to be together for a long time. We're going to know each other for a long time, just like I you and I, uh, Jackie and I. Uh, listen, how did you guys come together and how did you put these things together that you're working on? Well, we're at the same practice. Uh, New Jersey Eye and Ear is a, a pretty good sized practice in northern New Jersey. Yeah. I'm a glaucoma and cataract specialist there. Uh, and as the practice has grown, we've been trying to have more outreach to the community, more outreach to help people to understand the importance of eye care, the importance of preventative mm -hmm. eye care, especially. And uh, Jackie is just helping to get the word out since she's joined our practice. Um, she's just making it happen. And, um, you know, that's our goal is not just to take care of the people in the local area, but to educate as many people outside our immediate sphere as possible. Jackie's been calling everybody. I know she's been calling. <laughs> <laughs> and she even, she even. Bob, you I, know me. I think she got you, a husband you know I've involved, too. I've been out too. here for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She got a husband involved, too. Her husband is calling, mm -hmm. hey, Bob, mm -hmm. uh, let me see. What are you doing? Other? Hey, listen, we got this coming up. And da, 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 da. So she got everybody on board. Jackie, now, Bob, thank that's you. our secret. Come on now. Don't yeah. give away the secrets of the trade here. Well, thank you for all the work that you do and putting things together. Uh, how did you come oh, up with it? You. Talk about it. Well, Dr. Nandi, why don't you start? Dr. Nandi is one of our practices, amazing oh. community ophthalmologists. And I've known Dr. Nandi, I think, for a couple of decades in wellness and fitness. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've been privileged to come aboard of New Jersey Eye and Ear as their marketing managing director and um, just help uh, spread the word of all the great things that this practice does mm -hmm. uh, for eye care and eye health. And, you know, we do a whole plevy of, of different services from the top mm -hmm. of your head to the base of your throat. And Dr. Nandi is one of our esteemed glaucoma uh, ophthalmologist specialists. And that is why she's here to educate uh, the community yeah. on everything eyes. Yeah. Well, so, Dr. Nani, a lot of hear, misinformation, I can tell you. <laughs> yeah, you hear a lot of stories about people having uh, eye problems and uh, mm -hmm. people coming after eye and, uh, an eye examination talking about they have cataracts. Um, what are some of the things that people need to know mm -hmm. um, before they go to an opt ophthalmologist or some of the symptoms that they see? Uh, that makes them want to go see someone? Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? The best thing to do is to go see an eye doctor before you have symptoms and before you need to see someone. You know how you take the car in yeah. when you reach a certain amount of mileage? And you say, can you check this out, check that out? Yeah. Or you can be like uh, somebody like I am sometimes and you wait until you hear that sound or something's not working and you go in. That tends yeah. to be how ma many people do. You yeah. know? And part of our outreach and education is to help people understand that you get one set, one set. No replacements. We can replace parts, but we can't replace the whole thing. Yeah. So people need to be alerted to, first of all, including eye care in their annual exams. Uh, people who go, you know, are good about getting colonoscopies and mammograms and things like that. That's wonderful. Including an annual eye exam, at least after adulthood, is a good way to start in taking care of your eyes and being on the preventative side. Yeah. And what does a general eye exam entail? So let's take the age groups. So many people ask me, how old is old enough for my children to get eye exams? Fortunately, most children get screened for problems at birth. They're pediatric exams. There's certain things that you can look for, a wandering eye, a child who doesn't seem oh. to be able to reach for things that can alert you that something is wrong. Hopefully that won't happen and problems will be picked up at school screenings and at annual pediatric exams. Then once you've got school age children, sometimes they won't tell you they can't see the board at school. So you have to be yeah. alerted. Teachers need to be alerted to watch out for those things. Once they reach adolescence, most people who need glasses and things like that by time are aware. And then there's very much that period in the 20s or 30s where people don't see any kind of doctor because those tend to be years that we don't have issues with our health. Then right around late 30s or age 40, 
You're going to notice that you and your friends all start to go to the restaurant and everybody's taking the menu and they're the <laughs> going like this. And then somebody uh, puts on a pair of reading glasses and they say, oh, can I see those? Oh, and then all of a sudden they can see. All right. See, that's the, yeah. that's the normal progression. That's and, a normal process. Yeah. There are many changes that occur with the eye that are expected. That's called presbyopia. It's not dangerous. But often that's something that'll get people finally to the eye doctor Unless they just go to Walmart and pick up a pair of reading glasses and then they go another 10 years without seeing the eyeglass, uh, eye doctor. Yeah. You and know, that's when we get them for their cataracts. I know. Without, that was my situation. Well, I think after my master's, I just wanted to read everything, but I wanted to get a pair of reading glasses so I can try to absorb more, make the words bigger. Mm -hmm, but after a while, mm -hmm. I said, oh, wow, I really need these reading glasses. And you were normal. So, yeah. So, and you were normal. <laughs> I was normal. And but you didn't and what need happens them. after that, you know, many times people say, now I've got these reading glasses and they reach a point where the reading glasses don't seem to help anymore. Wow. Very often that's because they've reached their 40s, their 50s and their 60s. So you know what happens then? We start to develop cataracts and that's a completely normal aging process. If you've got any gray hair, if you've got a wrinkle anywhere, it goes with the package. If you're going to live, <laughs> you're going to get cataracts because there's ultraviolet light constantly affecting us and there's the byproducts of the food we eat it causes the lens to become cloudy in the eye and it's like a lens in a camera if the lens is cloudy the vision will be cloudy so when people say oh my grandmother had cataracts i tell them no everybody's grandmother had cataracts <laughs> so but what are some of the things that you could do to prevent it or is it preventable well you can slow down the growth of cataracts the only way to prevent cataracts completely is to die young we, we don't want to do that <laughs> Once you've started to become aware that your vision is changing, there's still things that you can do. Since ultraviolet light is what causes the lens to get yeah. cloudy, protecting your vision from the sun with sunglasses or even clear glasses that have an ultraviolet block helps. They don't have to be dark glasses. Uh -huh. That can slow things down. Just like the sun will change your skin and using sunscreen can help to protect you. The other thing is just doing what your grandma said. Grandma said, eat your greens. Grandma said, eat your yams. Colored uh, fruits and vegetables have antioxidants. Antioxidants clean free radicals from the body. And free uh, radicals are what affect your skin. Free radicals are what causes the lens to become cloudy more quickly. It can cause retinal problems like macular degeneration, which is another condition where age-related eye, lo eye vision loss can, uh, can occur. So eating those types of foods can help your body to clean those toxins and free radicals that cause the process of cataracts developing more quickly. Uh, Jackie, I like her. I love her. She's into the Western medicines and the natural healings in there. I love that. That's right up my alley. Exactly. And, and did you check out the pair of peepers on, on Dr. Nandi's eye? Look at her gorgeous <laughs> the green pair of eyes. And also, we're the only two sitting up here with glasses, Bob, you and I. Well, no, 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 no. I had LASIK six years ago. That's another story. Uh, I wonder. We'll do yeah. another interview on that one day. Maybe. That's another. Yeah. We'll that's come back to do it again. But <laughs> Dr. Nandi is is one of our most popular, most most prestigious doctors here at the practice. We have like twenty five ophthalmologists and optometrists here uh -huh. at the New Jersey Eye and Ear Practices, both locations in Englewood and Clifton. So she gets rave reviews, and now you know why. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She knows her stuff. And people yeah. talk to her. I'm going to talk, 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 doctor. You guys got the top doctors And people there. want to talk to her. People need to be spoken to. You uh -huh. know, they need the spoken word when it comes to their health and their wellness. And Dr. Nandi gives it to you. So and from, this is well, why from you're what here I'm hearing, her. she can speak to you. She can speak <laughs> to you now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So what's the procedure? If somebody needs to come in, they, uh, they, they uh, make an appointment. How, how do we do it? So once, once a, if somebody decides to have an eye exam and they make the appointment, most of the time, um, there's simple issues. People may need glasses, things like that. They might see an optometrist here, for instance, for eyeglass exams. And the optometrist might say, okay, I'm going to give you these eyeglasses, but I noticed that you have a few other things going on. They might notice that the optic nerve in the back of the eye looks unusual. Perhaps the patient has diabetes. And as a diabetic, you should be getting an annual complete eye exam at least once a year. Those things involve something called dilation. So dilation is when you have drops put into the eyes. Yeah. And it makes the pupil, okay, enlarge. And it's like making a window bigger. The doctor can look into the back of the eye and see the circulation, which can tell us things about how good their blood pressure control has been. 
We can see what the retina looks like and see if there's evidence that diabetes is damaging the circulation in the eye. We can see if there are signs of glaucoma by looking at the optic nerve, and we can see if there are cataracts. Dilation um, can affect the vision for a few hours. It can make the sun very bright and make it hard to read print for a little while. Yeah. So whenever you go to your eye doctor, just make sure to bring some sunglasses in case you are dilated so that you can move about and drive comfortably afterward. And that is what involves a complete eye exam, that as well as getting your eye pressure checked, which is one way uh, we screen for glaucoma. Yeah, beautiful. And in addition to that, we have the backpack giveaway, a great backpack giveaway. Talk about that. Yeah, so Dr. Bob, we are uh, really big here at New Jersey Iron Ear, trying to relay our brand to the community with various community events. And one of our upcoming community events at our Clifton location is the Great Backpack Giveaway, which we have partnered with the United Way of Passaic County. And we are giving away free eye exams to children of the Passaic County and other counties too. And with that, they re will receive a free backpack um brought to them by the united way and it's filled with amazing school supplies and even an opportunity to apply for free school lunches so that whole week that's going to be november 26th uh the day of free eye exams yeah. for the children so call us book your child's exam spot come on into the clifton location they will receive their backpacks and we're going to have food and drinks and and uh, raffles and and more Food and fun for the whole family. Are you going to be screening that day also, outdoors or indoors? We're going to be, well, we'll be indoors. It'll be an indoor event. But uh, when the, those kids come in for their eye exam, they will have a full comprehensive eye exam. Mm -hmm. And um, they will come out and have some fun with us. They will receive their backpacks. They will receive um, just any information that they can get from our uh, pediatrics department. And it's going to be amazing. It's going to be fun. Great. And it's going to be on two. It starts on Tuesday, right? It starts. It's Tuesday. It's one day. It's Tuesday or Tuesday. Give back Tuesday day. And that is November 26. And uh, it's one day of free eye exams. But throughout the week, we're going to be having various activities and various Black Friday um, sale events at both locations. But that particular day, is the free eye exam giveaway for the children in our pediatrics department. So right. they can call, they can call us to book that, uh, their child's exam spot. And that number is 973-546-5700 in our Clifton location, which is located at 1016 Main Street in Clifton, New Jersey. You can even yeah. find this information online and on our social medias. And what is that the website and social media? So our website is New Jersey Eye and Ear. That's N J E Y E A N D E A E A R dot com. That is our website, go. and our social media on Instagram is uh, at N J E Y E A N D E A R. So Jackie -E Gibbs Berry. <laughs> so marketing. N J Eye and Ear. <laughs> Spell out those go. last three words. So good, follow good. us and you know uh, uh, check us out. All the events we do. For all the services, you'll find a great patient information videos by our amazing Dr. Nandi here. Uh, we, like I said, we do six, seven different services here. We do LASIK, we do ophthalmology, we do optometry. We have an, uh, uh, an optical boutique. We do Botox cosmetic mm -hmm. injections. We do ear, ear nose, throat. We do ear, nose, throat, ear ENT, screenings. audiology. Oh. So if you're having hearing loss or hearing problems or your child's ears near, need to be checked, we do it all from the well, top of your head and to we the base of your throat. And we appreciate you for doing that. Uh, and we're going to come down and, and probably sit in the chair and uh, see if we can get our eyes checked, too, and be more <laughs> part of what you guys are doing. Jackie That's Gibbs Berry, Marketing Manager, New Jersey Eye and Ear, LLC, and Dr. Nandy Bush, MD, Ophthalmologist, New Jersey Eye and Ear. Thank you guys so much for joining us, all right? Thank, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Bob. We'll Thanks be back to, to see you. Yeah, you got it. <laughs>